In regards to the future of Kepler and McPeters Med School, considering all the information provided and many hours of talking with people in our county, as well as how the communities could be could possibly be affected, I would like to make the recommendation to this board that we consider allowing more time for this process and not consider closing these schools for the 2016-17 school year. However, as we begin to develop the 2016-17 year budget and determine the needs of our system as a whole, we need to continue to evaluate all possible options as we strive to reach the best decisions for all students at Hopkins County. We still have to diligently look at our financial needs for the entire system. So just because we say we're not going to close now, uh, it's too problematic to close now. There's been a lot of information, there's a lot of things to digest, and our timeline is, is getting real, real short to be fair to the students and staff and people of those communities to let them know that we, their schools could possibly be closed due to financial concerns. So to put some folks at rest, give this board some time to do more investigating and make sound judgments and look at our budget to see what we can and cannot do. Because we never said we wanted to close these schools. That was the community that said that. Not this board. And this board is going to do its due diligence for every student. Where, where do you want to be at this point next year as far as this decision? Well, hopefully the number of students increases and the, the buildings fix themselves, but that ain't going to happen. So reality is here. We need to, as a board, establish some guidelines, a roadmap, call it, of criteria, parameters that each school, not just these schools, but any school, would have to meet. Or if it, if it did meet these parameters, it would trigger a policy, a procedure, or say a roadmap for you, discussion for possible closure. Are you talking about minimum student, cost per student, figures, we, ba ba baselines? Based on the BEV formula of what the state supplies to this school system. It's not a gov it's it's not a state law and they're not gonna say it's a state law, but in essence they say, Hey, your school gets so small, we're not gonna reimburse you for this and this and this. So in essence we are forced as a system to look at these things. And is it fair that the state does that and forces the local boards to make the tough decisions? Well that's just the way it is. That's why I felt like after evaluating all this information and understanding the BEP formula. We need to take our time and see where we're at financially and where our county's, county is at financially and take our time for the benefit of the students in those communities. That's just a way of, to throw us off, I think, to throw our strategy to where uh, they think that we're going to give up. Uh, that's not going to happen. Um, I think this was a way of not answering the community's question. You know what? That meeting was supposed to be Monday night, and they canceled that meeting. I don't think they could have actually probably closed it next year anyway, because they've not got enough. Uh, how do I say it? Don't have enough out there. Uh, have the answered enough questions. Mm -hmm. They've uh, they've not. Uh, well, they've not answered any of our questions. I, I really think this is just to put, put it off to keep from answering our questions myself, Jeff. Okay, but uh, is the community going to fall asleep and forget about this? Oh, no. Oh, by no means. We're still, uh, I'm going to plan a community meeting soon, and we're going to keep the strategy going. We're going to continue to have monthly community meetings, and um, no, we're staying on top of this. It's not going to stop me from having the board meetings. They're not going to slide anything under the rug that I don't know about.